Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tara Perry. I'm a lecturer at the University of York, and I have had the privilege of organizing today's um, memorial event. Um, I have a long-standing interest in the history of archaeology, and in fact, I completed my PhD last year on the early history of the Institute of Archaeology, or aspects of the early history of the Institute of Archaeology at UCL. And it was in the context of that research that I first became familiar with John Evans. Um, but as we're here today, um, Evans had a very multifaceted personal history that extended far beyond um, the Institute alone. Um, Hopefully, you will have, will have seen in um, the entrance hall two display stands, uh, which contain scans of materials from Evans's archive. So those materials testify to Evans's uh, varied career and interests, and by the courtesy of his family, and they now reside. The archive now resides at the Institute of Archaeology, and. Todd Whitelaw and Amara Thornton, both of the Institute, have been investigating aspects of that uh, archive, and I wanted to extend a lot of thanks to them both for their involvement in today's uh, event. Complementing the displays out in the uh, entrance hall are some materials on, at the end of the table here. Um, these are brought very graciously um, for today only, <laughs> um, by uh, Evans's family, um, Judith and Mike Conway, uh, and I'm really appreciative of that. What you'll see, uh, amongst other very interesting things, are um, uh, Evans's Order of the British Empire uh, and related paperwork, um, and some other objects testifying to aspects of his life, uh, photographs from his time. At Cambridge, uh, some al a photographic album with some materials um, showing his family home from around the 1970s. Uh, presidential medallion associated with um, his picking up that role uh, with the IUPPS, the um, International Union of Prehistoric and Protostoric Sciences, and an honorary doctorate for the Université de Lyon. Um, I wanted to kick off today's event uh, by having Evans, John Evans, introduce himself, uh, so to speak. Uh, in 2009, prompted by some really important oral historical research that Pamela Jane Smith is going to describe to us later, um, Evans sat down to tell his life story in an interview that was conducted by Stuart Laidlaw of the Institute of Archaeology uh, and accompanied by Pamela. Stuart, in the clip that I am going to show you um, here, asked John about the early stages of John's career. And John, I understand in a characteristically modest fashion, um, responds with a reflection on his PhD program. So I'll give you a few minutes of his reflections on that. I think that some of John's words there hint at the very incredible uh, life that he led. And over the course of the next hour and a little bit um, this afternoon, eight different people will speak to us about the many different dimensions of his life. Um, we are going to start with reflections on his family and personal background, uh, and that will be followed by some comments on his early research program, uh, both in Malta and the wider Mediterranean. And then there will be a little break, and we'll return to hear about Evans' work as an administrator and a teacher at the Institute of Archaeology, um, at the Society of Antiquaries of London itself, um, and elsewhere. And then we'll close with an opportunity for those of you here today to reflect, if you wish, 